Hello, um, tis me. Um, how are you all? <laughs> I hope you're all okay. Um, I've got like a massive haul to do for you today, like huge. Um, so I'm just literally going to crack on with it. Um, I've already recorded um, a couple of videos which I'm going to try and upload in a minute, um, including a new kind of makeup setup video which I love um, and then I have two hauls to do for you now I've got one makeup bits and bobs and then I've got a Lush haul because I've never shopped at Lush before and I tried it today and I was very impressed so um, I'll literally just get going because there is so much stuff in here I'll start off with the best one I think which is it's not makeup in any way but it's awesome does anyone remember please write in the box below fluff does anyone remember this stuff? It is literally uh, marshmallow stuff that you can spread on jam. Uh, on jam. <laughs> marshmallow to spread on jam. There's a there's an advertising slogan. Um, it's marshmallow you can spread on toast or on crackers. Or but check it out. <gasps> but it's literally just. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. I bought this from TK Maxx. It was two quid, two pound for a whole big jar <laughs> of fluff. Let me know. Please, please write below because I used to have this when I was a kid and it was just really random that I found it. Okay, so the non-makeup kind of things that I've got, um, which isn't a lot to be completely fair. There's quite a lot of makeup in here. Um, I started off by going to Wilkinson's and I found um, another body butter. Now you guys know how much I love my body butters and this one's mango and it smells so good. There's a protective box on it because pack it because if I open it it's all gonna but there you go. So I'm really really looking forward to doing to using that especially you know winter's coming and it's just gonna. Um, I bought some eye makeup remover pads um, for a reason that you'll see very, very soon. Um, some Dove Intensive Hand Cream. Um, this is for extra dry hands because in, this, in the winter, my hands, my skin really, really dry out. So it'd just be nice to have this in my bag. Um, I got some Face and Body Cooling Mist. Now this is just literally just a spray. Um, and it's just water. But I know a couple of people, I know definitely that... Um, Justin Bieber 1234 LOL who I'll put her link below because she's awesome you should go and check her out she uses this and um, to set her makeup so I thought if it's you know if she can I'll give it a go I'll try it I'll see how I get on with it and then I'll do a review and stuff um I hit so many different places and got face packs face masks Montanation use ones um a uh, Wilkinson, well it's not Wilkinson's own, it's by a company called Chantel but they were only like 50p from Wilkinson's so I bought 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's 10 different masks there which I won't go into because they're the ones I usually get um, all the time anyway I um, also got a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lip Lip um, lip salve again because in the winter it just my skin just dries out my lips get really really sore really chapped quite nasty actually and I've just thrown something away okay. so now we get on to the makeup and most of this again as usual is from my pound shop because I absolutely love my pound shop and I, I was keeping it all in my Wizard of Oz bag so I don't lose it and I don't know how much time I got so I'm going to rush rush run through these um, I got an extend and volumizing mascara from um, Wilkinson's and it's just the black side on that end and the white kind of base coat on that side um, it's by image which is Wilkinson's own brand so I'm going to have to try it out because I don't know if it's going to be any good but um, I went to stay at my mum's and I just kind of thought I'd try it so then also I got a glass nail file because I'm gonna I'm gonna actually learn to grow my nails. I think it's time that I learn to grow my nails. So I got a glass nail file because obviously these ones last forever. Um I want to have nails by Christmas. Um I'm a bridesmaid for my sister in law actually, um soon in December, so I wanna have some effective you know, attempt at some nails. Um 
in boots we love boots i've got some more of my um silky beige um stay matte press powder and i absolutely love this powder um it's just a nice um nice color since silk this number five silky beige so i've got a top up of that and then also while i was in boots honestly this for anyone who loves Barry M and shopping at Boots, you will love. I finally, finally own Barry M um, Dazzle Dusts, and I've I've never ever had any of them, and they're on three for ten pound at the moment. And I thought I have to, I just have to. So I got a pink one. I'll do swatches for them, and now you can understand why I bought. Um, so I'm only going to do little swatches because obviously, for those of you that use them it's just mental so that was pink that's number 58 um so there's the pigmentation on that one and i've just realized these are fine glitter dust but i'm presuming they're kind of the same thing i don't know i've never had these before um this one if i can pick up just a teeny tiny bit which i'm struggling to at the minute there's that like blue one and i think that one's called denim um but it's number number 20 so it's just a really dark blue and it's got some aquamarine glitter sparkles in it reflex and then i bought this one which i believe was called um oh, i can't actually remember it's just a white white glitter um again it's one of their fine glitter dusts which i thought was the dazzle dusts but maybe i've got them wrong i don't know um but that one's number 15. so i finally own barry m and i'm so really chuffed <laughs> that I own them. <laughs> so yay! Woohoo! I own higher end products. And I've been scrubbing at this blue one and it's just not coming off. So then now we get into the pound shop stuff. So I've got some uh, mousse bronzer from Rimmel London. This is in medium glow. And um, hopefully you can see that on my finger there. But I'm um, just doing a little little swatch if it doesn't work out for me um then i'll probably use it as a a base yeah you can't see it you won't see that at all if i was to show you what um again from the pound shop two of the um collection 2000 mascaras i got a lash defining one in black and a eye me up in black just two two mascaras um i got a lip gloss from taxi this one's called tooting which is an area in london if um you're not from the uk um, and I'll just do a swatch of that one because it's beautiful. The sparkles and the reflex in that is just amazing. So I'm looking forward to using that one. Um, a, what is this from? Revlon Lip Glide Sheer Colour and Shine Lip Gloss, um, which is number 20. And as you can see, it's just a nude, nude colour. You have to twist it up through the, through the thingy. It's not coming out yet. Here it comes. No. Nope. Oh, there you go too much there Harriet um, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's right next to the, that one so it's like a little bronze bronzy colour which looks really really pretty I've got three more of the threesomes from Rimmel London as well again from the pound shop I've got the breathtaking which is number 300 I can never open these and when I do I end up putting my fingers all over them but unless I open them you just won't see the colours I tried it before and you just you cannot see how good these colours are. I can't. Even, aha! Let's see if this works. I'm always so unprepared when I do these. I just think most of the time I can wing it, and I can't. I can never just never just kind of wing it. Okay. So what was the first one? Threesome. It's number three hundred. So you've got the. Uh, the purple, the white and the red which are beautiful, beautiful colours I won't worry about doing pigments because I'm covered in dazzle dust um, this one is number 100, 100 which is naughty, so you've got the pink the purple and the lime green which is quite interesting, I'm looking forward to trying that one um, and then this one is called platonic which is number 110 which is like the really um, kind of antique colours I think, they look quite antique um, and the lid's not even on straight so when the lid opens, it opens on an angle. Just something little that I picked up there. Um, again, from the pound shop, I got a Wet n Wild eyeshadow duo, and this is called Blue Lagoon, I believe. 
but the pigmentation on these I'll have to do I'll have to show you these because these are amazing look at those um a pound shop 